Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. As part of the array series that we are doing, today we are going to discuss another problem on arrays. This is called find the leaders in an array. So we are given this array of positive integers and the task is to find the leaders in the array. Now what is a leader? So the leader will be that element of the array if it is greater than or equal to all the elements to its right side. The rightmost element is always the leader. So as we can see in this example, the output is 17, 5 and 2. Okay. So let's see. 17 because anything which is at the right of 17, all the elements are smaller than 17. Then 5 because to the right of 5, we have only 2 and 2 is smaller than 2. And 2 is smaller than 5. And 2 is anyway going to be the leader always. So the rightmost element is always going to be the leader. So this line basically means that the last element of this array is always going to be the leader. And that is always going to be in our output. And going by the second example also, the leaders are 4 and 0. So 4 is the leader and also 0 is the leader. Next is, this is the expected time complexity, order of n and the expected spaces. Uh, we can take extra space. And uh, these are the companies in which this was asked. If we take this first example, 16, 17, 4, 3, 5 and 2. So this is the array which we have. And we are told that the rightmost element is always going to be the leader. So since we have the liberty of using additional space, so let's say we take another temp array and we start putting what are the possible leaders of this. So the rightmost array is going to be an, uh, a leader always. So we are going to put that element uh, in the uh, in the temp array already. Okay. Next, coming to the second last element. So we are going to traverse backwards. Now, if a given element has to be a leader, it has to be greater than the elements to its right side. So given an element, if we are going from the like going uh, in the reverse direction, given an element, when can it be a leader? It can be a leader if that element is greater than the current max whatever we have so let's say we have this max variable and we initialize this to 2 because the rightmost element is the leader fine when we are at 5 we have to check whether 5 is greater or the current max is greater if 5 is greater we will add 5 over here to the temp array and we will update the max to 5 because now the current maximum instead of 2 it is the current leader is 5 then we'll come to 3 same thing we'll compare 3 and 5 which is greater 5 is greater since 5 is greater we'll keep it as is 4. So, 4 and 5. Again, 5 is greater. So, we will put 5 over here. Then 17. Now, 17 and 5 is compared. 17 is greater. So, max needs to be updated. And so, now that 17 is greater, we will update that in our temp array. Next, we will move to 16. So, now 16 is greater or the max is greater. Max is greater. So, 17 will remain as is. So, this is the new temp array which we have formed in which we have basically compared the current element and the given maximum element and which one is greater. Whichever is greater, we have updated the max accordingly and we have updated the value of the max at the individual positions in the temp array. So, this is the temp array that we have created. Now, how do we find out the next task is to find out the leaders. From the values that we have accumulated in this temp array, do we get any hint? The hint over here is all the elements at some point are the leaders in itself. So, to find out which are the elements, which are the leaders, we just have to subtract this value in the temp array with the corresponding value in the ARR, the given array. So, 16 minus 17, is it equal to 0? It is not. But 17 minus 17 is equal to 0. So, 17 is a leader. 4 minus 5 is not 0. 3 minus 5 is not 0. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, 5 is a leader. Again, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, 2 is a leader. So, that is how we get all the leaders uh, of the array. So, the intention of using this approach was we will use this additional uh, temporary variable. So, we will use this additional temporary array and then we will keep on storing the numbers which are the potential leaders because we are, essentially we are storing the numbers which are greater than the rightmost element. Uh, by comparing that with the current max, the current element and the current max by doing this comparison. And since we have stored it and at any given point in time, the difference between the current element in the original array and the element in the temporary array is equal to zero means that itself is the number which is stored in the temporary array, hence the potential leader that we need to find. So that's all. Now we'll write the code for this. Okay, so now let's do the code changes for this. So first of all, uh, we have to anyway return an array list of integers. So let's So let's initialize that. Next, we need to take an extra temporary array. So, we will initialize that as well. With that, now let's start with the for loop. Uh, and one more thing is we have to also uh, initialize the max variable. So, we'll put that to integer dot main value. And one more thing is since we already know that the last element is always going to be the leader. So, in the temp variable, we can initialize that as well. 
So now we can start our iteration from the second last element. Now that we have the rightmost element as the current leader, so the max should actually be that element itself. So we can just uh, say that max will be equal to the last element. And with that, we are going to do the comparison with rest of the elements. So first is we are going to check the max. So math dot max we are going to do with the current element that is ARR of i and the current max. So whichever is greater will get stored into max. And then in the temp variable, we just have to add the max. So this is all about the first for loop. And now that we have already populated the temp array, next what we have to do is we have to run another loop and then do the subtraction. So we are going to do another loop. So in this we have to do the comparison if the ARR of i minus temp of i is equal to 0 means it is the same element. So we have to add that element to our output array list. So output dot add either of them. That is it and then return the output. So with that, let's compile and run this. We'll submit. Okay, so that's all about this. So that's all about uh, this question, how to find the leaders in an array. Hope you guys have enjoyed the session today.